everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm really, really looking forward to showing you how I've made this wood effect crate. Now, this can be used, I thought, for a Christmas Eve box because they are becoming more and more popular and people like to, you know, put a pair of pajamas, some socks, some hot chocolate, a DVD and things like that inside and give it to the children or the adults on Christmas Eve. We have our own Christmas Eve traditions in our family, so I'm not going to be using this for that reason. I'm going to be using this as a gift box, so in here is going to be a mini hamper for somebody. I can't say who because they will obviously, well, I know they will watch this, so I'm not going to give it away. But it's, um, yeah, it's turned out so well. I'm just really pleased with how it's come together. Love the addition of the little rope handles there on the side. And it's going to make a lovely decorative piece after, and I think it would look nice as just a nice home decor piece. You know, you could put some soft furnishings in it, put it in the kitchen and things like that. I just think it's a really nice thing. It's all made from grey board and craft card and it is so easy to make and then that big bow on the front I think just finishes it off beautifully so I hope you enjoy the tutorial and let me show you how I made it okay so I have already done one of the I guess one half okay so this is what we're going to what I'm going to show you to do now so this is the bow it's absolutely gorgeous I did share this ribbon in one of my what did I get videos it's beautiful and I thought this has got a real masculine look to it with the truck and the tree and just that color and everything it's all going to work really well this is it's just called printed vintage ribbon festive magic and um, I originally I couldn't find some links but then a lady or a few of you actually just commented in that what did I get video of places uh, I think it was on Amazon so I will share as many as I can because so many of you asked me I had a few emails I had some private messages on where these ribbons were from because I've got the one with the truck with the glitter I've got one with Merry Christmas this one and I've got another red one as well and they're just beautiful and they're very inexpensive so that's the bow for the end but what you want so you're going to need six pieces because I've already done that half there. So you want six pieces here which are two inches wide and then this is the A4 length. So you're looking at 11 and three quarters. To be honest, it can be any length you want. Okay, it really doesn't matter and it can be any width that you want. When you see it put together, the measurements, it doesn't matter. As long as your three at the front and three at the back are the same and your three on the sides and this side are all the same. If you're using the, because this is a new grey board that I'm using, which is A3 size and the A3 size is obviously, well, it's just two A4 pieces put together. So that's why we've got the 11 and three quarters. But I know a lot of you probably will have the every crafts a pound grey board which I used to use well it's not used to I do still use it I just didn't want to pay the postage this was free postage on Amazon and I got 10 big sheets so I'll link this one below this um, otherwise you can have it as 12 inches you know you can have it as 8 10 like I said any size you want but that's the size mine is so six pieces for the front and back and then for the sides my pieces again are two by six and you again you'll want six pieces you also want four of these. Why is there only one there? I think I've got another one on here. Yeah. So you want four pieces that are two by seven. These ones are two by seven. Yeah. And along the two inch side, you want to score it one. And this is that strong 300 GSM craft card. So it's just nice and strong. It's the craft card I've used for years. It's the Do Crafts Paper Mania one. I absolutely love it. So it's my go-to. Although I have also used the Crafts UK, which is a recycled one, and that's really nice as well. So any good craft card, you want something that's about 300 GSM. Then for the base, I have this piece here, which is six by that same length. So two and three quarters. So your base will need to be whatever, whatever the width is that you choose and whatever the length is you choose. Okay, so just, you know, take that into account, but you can do 12, like I said, if that's what you're using. But yeah, this is six by the 11 and three quarters. And then you will want two pieces that are two by 11 and three quarters. That's what I'm using. Again, along the two inch side, score at one. Two pieces of that. All the measurements, as always, are in my blog. And then these here are two by six. They're going to go inside just as a reinforcement. All of these pieces are. And again, along the two inch side, you want to score at one. Okay, so that's all those pieces. But again, some of you might now be thinking, oh, I don't know, she's saying any size. Watch me put it together. You'll see how easy it is just to choose what you want. So it's, it's a great one to adapt for whatever it is that you want to you know, put in it. So first of all, we want to start with this piece here so this is going to be the front so your three you want three of your longest ones now you want it to be seven inches in height because this is one of the hinges which is seven inches tall so this is when your grid will come in handy so I'm just going to line mine up and I had a half an inch gap 
between each one. So this mat that I've got, these are all one inch squares, so I can see there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know now that that hinge will sit perfectly over that. Okay, so what you want to do is add, because these are one inch on each side, so you just want to add glue to one inch area on the ends of these ones here, like so. And then I'm just going to sit that over all three of them. Just let that grab for a second. And then you're going to do the same on this side. So again, just cover one inch area. With your other hinge, you're going to put that there. And you will do this exactly the same as this on your other piece, on your other three, with your other two hinges. Just make sure that they run flush with the tops and then everything else. Will be nice and straight. I'm going to very carefully flip that over because what you want to do is bring up that side okay and that one needs to be pushed down there. So just bring up the sides, push it all down while you've got that wiggle time with your glue and just really let that set for a minute before you move on to the next stage. Okay so that is now what you will have one side of this crate. Then with three of these you want to Choose either side. I'm going to do this side because it's the other, it's the size side that I need. And you're going to sit it so that it is lying next to that one. You see how I've got it there? So it's not on top of it like that, it's next to it like that. Okay. So all you want to do is add some glue to the other half of this. And then I'm just putting a little bit of glue on the side of that grey board because there is that two three mil width to it and then you want to sit these in here Ooh. actually if you lie them down it's probably a bit easier I'm just going to lie them on there for the minute just to grab and then bring them up so just leave a gap just like if you were making a mini album leave a little bit of a gap there for the minute okay and then I'm just going to bring it up and you want it to all sit next to it well, to be fair, if it goes on top, make sure the other end goes on top. Just keep them the same. Otherwise, your base will be a bit out. Okay, you can see there how it looks on the top. So now you want to kind of keep it in that right angle position. So the glue kind of gets used to where you know it needs to be. So just kind of keep it like that for a minute until that all starts to set. Okay, so you want to do that twice. You have two, so there's mine. You can see it looks exactly the same. Two pieces like that. But we're not going to stick them together yet. What you want to do now is get your base. And I should have said at the beginning, obviously if you want to cover all this you can, but I want mine to look rustic and like it's, you know, wood effect really. Now this, these pieces are going to wrap around this like that. So you're actually going to, we're going to put some glue along this side, along that side, and it's going to stick with that. But this is when your hinges are going to come in and you're going to pop one in there like that and one in there like that because I didn't want you to see any of that on the outside from the outside I just want it to look like a crate so I figured if you put all this inside because I'm going to put tissue paper in here and you're going to put stuff inside it doesn't you know matter what it looks like so what you want to do first of all is pop a thin layer of glue along this side here and this one Okay, and then I'm just going to sit that in there and kind of let that just kind of gr just grab to it for a minute. Okay, so that is now already stuck to the bottom, but to make sure it stays nice and strong, I'm going to reinforce it with these pieces. So this is one of those six by two. You want to put glue on both sides and pop that one in there. And I always say it, this glue is just, this glue, this glue, kalau, is amazing. It, um, I said it a few times, it's like a layer of cement in between your paper. So I'm just going to pop that all on this one here. It does take a, you know, a bit longer to completely set, so it will grab pretty quickly. But then give it, I don't know, 15 minutes and it will be rock hard. You'll notice sometimes if you make a card and then leave it and then come back to it the next day, I know I do, you really notice a difference. 
okay like so and then that one it's going to go in there I have to trim a little bit one a little bit off the edge of that one just make sure you push it right up into the corners there okay so now we need to add the other bit but what you want to do first of all is again put some glue along this piece and down this side here pop it back like that so it's easier to slide this one in and it should just all meet up nicely so again just hold that in place for a second and then I'm going to add glue to the side of this tab here just to kind of get it in its square form before I add the hinges inside and then just kind of line up the pieces with the other ones on the other side this on its side just so I can push all that down you can really get in there and make sure that you've got everything lined up perfectly do the same on this side here so just add your glue all on that tab and just see what I'm doing there just the other tab you will have one more that you've not stuck down and just wrap that one around Again, keeping everything nice and straight okay and then with these last pieces just check that you don't need to trim anything off yeah I need to trim a little bit off of the length of that one so taking about one eighth of an inch off yeah that's perfect so I'll stick that one down last stick this one in and also I forgot you need four more hinges for the inside of the side pieces so I'll cut them as well and let you know the sizes okay then you're going to want four pieces that are two by six and seven eighths of an inch you want them just shorter just slightly shorter than the seven inches because you've got that base and that base now has given us about one eighth of an inch okay so just fold and burnish you want to score along the two inch side at one inch just like all the others but these ones are going to go inside and it just completes it it just really tidies it up you know tidies it all up and just gives it that extra strength already I can feel this has become a very very strong piece and certainly something that I'll be able to keep um, you know year after year because I know who I'm giving this to will give it back to me <laughs> so then it'll become like a little display piece or some storage maybe just at Christmas time so you just want to do exactly the same put glue on both sides and then pop them into the corners like so. So I'm just gonna go in there. I've just been going in with my bone folder just so you can get right in down into the cracks there and just make sure that everything you know is getting right into the sides like so. So just do that on all the other corners. Okay and there is a really strong crate and I love it love it love it love it. Next you want to start distressing it really so I'd already done this side and that side with the frayed burlap just stressed ink but I'm going to do the same on the other side but then I'm going to go in with a darker brown right on the corners just again to try and give it a little bit more of an authentic look and all I've done is just literally with the pad just go on but this one dries much much lighter I mean you can see that's what it's like when it goes on dark but it, it ends up becoming this colour here so yeah I'm not being careful at all Okay, so there is my very messed up <laughs> wooden crate. I love it, I really, really do. And a lot of that ink will settle as well, but now I'm gonna stick this great big bow on there. I think I'll cut, no, I'll do the tails on it now because, yeah, I don't wanna, in case it goes wrong. So I'm just gonna fold them in half and go out there. Ooh. Get the same on that side. All right, that's perfect. So now I'm just going to add some glue onto this one and then stick that in the middle. Okay, so love the bow now, that's all dried. And I also went and distressed the inside. But I think what I'm also going to do is I'm going to cut some maybe wood grain effect paper or pattern paper and line the bottom. 
So I will put the measurements for that in my blog, so I need to have a good look through my papers and see which one's going to work. But another thing I thought I'm going to do is I'm going to add these handles on the side just to really finish it off. So I've got my cropper dial here and I'm just going to mark where I want to put two like circles, so I think there and there. So I'll just tell you the measurements of that one. So we've got two and a quarter, two and a quarter, oh look at that, bang on. Yeah, two and a quarter and then you just want to be in the middle really. Yeah, look, one inch. There we go. So I'm just going to, is this going to go down far enough? Oh yeah, perfect. So I'm just going to punch a hole there and there. And then I want to have a nice knot on the inside. So let's knot this end off first. So, like so. Will one be enough? Oh yeah, that's fine. And then, no, how long should I have them? Maybe about there? So let's just trim that off. Thread that one through. I don't know where I got this from. I think it might have been in like the wedding section of like um, Home Bargains or B&M, somewhere like that. So let's just have a look how that's going to look. Yeah, I think about there. So again, just knock that off. Like so. And then maybe go a bit shorter, like so. You've got a really cool handle. I love it. <laughs> I love these little extras, so let me just line all that up again. Okay, there it is. You can actually pick it up with them as well. I think that is such a nice touch. Just really lovely, nice decorative add-on. Love it. So they, there it is, all finished, apart from the bottom. But like I said, I'll put the measurements for the base in my blog, but I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. I can't wait to put the, the gifts in it. And I'm thinking possibly either they're going to be just all in there loose with some straw on the bottom, and then maybe I'll put the whole thing in some cellophane, or I'm going to wrap everything individually with parcel paper, brown parcel paper, and put red ribbon around it all. So I'm not sure yet, and maybe keep the odd gift not wrapped just with a bow on it or something. But um, if I do, I will share pictures after Christmas, because obviously I don't want to put anything up before, because that person will probably know it's for them otherwise. So there it is. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.